Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Today we're going to have a look at my solve of today's Times crossword, which was Wednesday the 25th of March, um, and it's this one, puzzle 27621. So I recorded my solve a little a few moments ago, and I'm going to talk you through how I went about it now. So let's start up as I click on the button. You can watch my time elapse up at the top here. Now, one across. Source of flour used to make dough. Couldn't see that, although I thought it was something to do with bread. Round top of trophy. That looks like the letter T. C revolving article. Unreal level of American reserve. Didn't know what that was. Aha. Okay, I've stopped the clock here. And paused. Because I was managing to parse this clue correctly. In Italy, that eastern river is so long! Exclamation mark. Now the exclamation mark these days that only gets used I think to signal where an exclamation mark is relevant to the defined answer and given that we've got so long at the end we're looking for a synonym for goodbye. Um, in Italy that is the beginning and if you separate that out in Italy that there is there may be more than one word in Italian for that but one of the possibilities is K. Now at first when I was thinking about this I was spelling K wrong, more like the Spanish that, Q-U-E. But in fact in Italy I think it's spelled C-H-E. Eastern it can be E, river can be R, they're very standard. Um, well they are very standard crossword abbreviations but in fact river is not R in this case. It's Rio which is um, one way of saying river uh, from Spanish, but it's also in US English, for instance. So you add K and E and Rio, you get Cheerio, which is an English or a British English word for so long. Then quickly moving on to this O. I don't know why I often move on to the last letter that I've been given by an answer, but I often do. 13 across. State of old limo confused with cab. Well, you can't get a more anagram indicator word than confused. Now we need eight letters for an eight word, for an eight letter answer. So what eight letters could we confuse? Well cab and limo, that's seven. One more letter, well old is often abbreviated to O. So I'm going to try an anagram O, limo and cab to get a state. Not quite Colorado, it's not that sort of state, it's a nation state here, Colombia. Now, 11 across, like some cakes set before daughter. Um, so I thought we were probably looking for a definition of like some cakes. And then a word meaning set and D for daughter. But then I realized with this R in fifth position in the word, maybe before has an actual meaning that we need to translate rather than just a kind of position indicator. And of course the poetic air, ERE, is a familiar crossword ease version of before. So we're looking for something ending in ERED that means like some cakes and starts with a three letter word that can mean set. And that's layered. So um, if you set something down, you lay it down. And layered is the answer. Now, having a bit of a punt, seeing if we can get the long one. Only one letter achieved so far in this. Racket payment from mystified non-competitor you returned. Well, it looks a bit like a tennis or badminton reference. But in fact, the racket here is more of a, uh, a criminal scam. Now, mystified non-competitor you returned. Well, I could see that you returned could be ye backwards. And if we're talking about a payment and a five-letter word ending in ey, that looks like money. Now the letters from mon can come out of non-competitor. So we need to anagram the, the whole of non-competitor. I think that is 13 letters and then EY for a phrase ending in money that means a racket payment in some way. And at that point I could then see that this was the classic kind of mafia racket of protection money. So I was able to fill that in once I'd figured it out. It took a few seconds, as you can see, but in it goes. And quite a few answers done in the first minute of solving. Now, one down, suddenly this T for the top of trophy seems a bit unlikely in this 
um, letter structure. So I had to rethink a bit and suddenly I realized I might be looking for a round top. Now a trophy can be a cup and la, oh no, lo can be C in crosswords, as in lo and behold. So that revolving after cup gives you OL, A for article, and you've got a cupola, which is a round top in architecture. Now, let's just have a look at this two down, which I've just filled in. Unreal level of American reserve. Unreal um, is in fact the, defini the definition of the answer. And surprisingly, storybook uh, is here used as an adjective because a storybook ending is kind of unreal. Now, to reserve is to book. So why is level of American story? I think that's a belief that that's the normal spelling of story in the US, as in the layer of a house, um, and the level of a house. I'm not absolutely sure if that holds good in America, but there we go, that's how that clue works. Now, four down, four pairs of volunteers beset by obsessive behaviour. Well, I was first thinking, well, I can't use four of the pairs of letters in volunteers because I've only got a five letter answer. But in fact, four pairs is the definition. The volunteers are the territorial army, now disbanded. And the obsessive behaviour, well, it's the classic three letter abbreviation for obsessive behaviour these days, OCD. And if you beset TA with OCD, i.e. you put OCD around TA, you get octad, a group of eight, and therefore four pairs. Now one across, source of flour used to make dough. Well again, dough is referring to money. It's not actually referring to bread, which I thought tied in well with flour. But in this case, it's talking about cash. So a cash crop could be a source of flour, for instance. And because it's used to make dough, i.e. cash, it's a cash crop. So that's the answer there. Now six down. Grand upright character in Catholic circles. Well, Catholic can be either C or RC for Roman Catholic. And I eventually started focusing on upright character, which I've seen before. It can just mean the letter I, which is an upright character, the a letter. But how can we get something meaning grand and I in RC into this? Well, I thought of Homeric, which refers to kind of the epic poet and therefore can mean grand. But where's the home indicator in the clue? Well, it's that little word in. If you're in, you're home. So what this clue is saying, grand is the definition of Homeric. And then I, which home RC circles, and that gives you Homeric, slightly convoluted grammar. Uh, oh yes, I went back to it and filled it in there. Now, seven down, mount using clip, closed. Well, closed, like a door, can be two. If it's not open, it, you might push a door two to close it. So, a word ending in NTO that means a mount, well, that's a pinto, which I think, again, American word for a horse of some kind of what we'd call a piebald here, I think. And a clip can be a pin as in a, a something you clip on to your clothes. Now, five across. Oratory, in the case of Churchill, hard to copy. Um, lovely clue, seeming to refer to Winston Churchill's skills at public speaking, but in fact, not at all. Oratory here is referring to the building, kind of religious building. The case of Churchill is the letters that kind of encase Churchill, the outside letters, C and L. And what you have to put in C and L, H for hard, like a pencil, can be labelled H, and to copy is to ape, and that way you get chapel, which is the religious building that may be called an oratory. Now, eight down. Ruin song with a short dance sequence. Well, a song can be several things in crosswords. It can be an air, it can be a lead, L-I-E-D, but it can also be a lay, and that looks very likely here. So we're probably looking for a phrase that means ruin, that starts with lay, and then a short dance sequence. And the first phrase I thought of was lay about. 
if you lay about you with a weapon, you start destroying things, but that's not quite the same as ruin. Even though I thought there was a chance that about might be a, a short dance sequence or even a boo, a French word. But in fact, what I was looking for was with translates as W, another abbreviation that's worth knowing, quite well disguised. A translates as A, that's hardly a translation. And the short dance sequence is step shortened, and that gives lay waste, which does mean ruin much more clearly. Now, 12 across, Ireland previously to get motorway around it, uh, around it, sorry. And I had to think about that a bit. Motorway is so often the letter M um, that I started trying to think of possible islands, maybe beginning with M, or maybe we can put an M in. And island previously looks like maybe the former name of an island. So happily, um, I was able to remember, I once actually compiled a puzzle about the fact that Taiwan used to be called Formosa, and was probably named, interesting fact this, after a city in Argentina which is exactly opposite the position of Thailand on the globe. That's worth checking out. Um, anyway, in this case, to get is to form, uh, oh no, for is to get, sorry. In order to get means for. Motorway is M, round is O, the O is a kind of round thing, and then it, this is classic ancient crosswordies, can translate to SA for sex appeal. Um, and the island is Formosa, the old name for Taiwan. Now, 15 across, uh, that went in very quickly. Let's just have a look at that. Long distance traveler from Maine sleeping like a baby. Well, that's using, oh, sorry, I thought I stopped the, I'm solving very quickly at this point. <laughs> um, Maine is M-E, as you may know. Um, sleeping like a baby means put it in cot. Gets a question mark because it's kind of, cheeky wordplay there. And the long distance traveller is a comet, which obviously goes a really long distance. Now we also, let's just go back in the video, we had a look at number nine, golf ball there. Large party, beat up bouncer, dispatched by a club. That's a lovely surface suggesting somebody getting beaten up outside a nightclub. But in fact, the bouncer dispatched by a club is a golf ball, i.e. it bounces and you hit it with a club. So the large party beat up. The large party um, is L for large, lab for the Labour Party, classic British political abbreviation, and flog for beat. And if you put all of that up, you get golf ball. And then 14 down, which comes next, this young camper's pants, nothing but cosy. Well, pants here, this is quite modern crosswordies slang. Um, pants can mean rubbish in British English slang. So we need an anagram because we're making O for nothing but cosy into an anagram. And the young camper is therefore a boy scout at 14 down. And then the other clue that I've got a letter in the downs for is this 16 down. Panoramic rooms, historic housing, something very fine. Um, and what you have to do discover here, unusually for a nine letter word, this is a hidden. Um, the letters for the answer are hidden, starting from the M in panoramic in the clue, i.e. the phrase panoramic Rome's historic is housing the answer here, and that something very fine is therefore M-I-C-R-O-M-E-S-H, micromesh. And at this point in the solve, I'm three minutes in, I've got the whole top half done, a couple of words into the bottom half. I was thinking it's gonna be a really, really quick puzzle even for me, but things got a little harder. So 18 across, given further term in high school for dances, I couldn't see what was going on there at all. 20 across, I was immediately thinking, well, the yoke sacks would fit as the answer here. But device containing spring cabbage may be left around for rabbit to eat. So it looks like 
Let's split up spring cabbage, because that doesn't seem like a phrase that really matters in a crossword clue. So device containing spring. Now that's the definition. Cabbage may be left around for rabbit to eat. And given that the answer is Yale lock, um, I can't even remember how this does work. Coal, that's it, is the cabbage. C-O-L-E, old English word for cabbage. And coal left, all turned around, gives you lelock. And to yak, Y-A-K, as in yakety yak, is to rabbit. Uh, again, I don't know how much of that is British slang only, but that's how it works. Now, 23 across, still clutching your right hand or foot. Um, I couldn't work out how this works, but in fact, the still, there's a three-letter abbreviation, uh, three-letter word, I suppose, for something that can be called a still. And it's clutching an abbreviation for your and an abbreviation for right hand, and it means a foot. I didn't see that coming at all. 25, engineering graduate having rung to order. Well, I couldn't get that at first. But then I had a look at 26 across, work in China shared between us. And that's quite interesting. I mean, I saw a clue very like this, probably in the Times, only this weekend. But, you know, that's a bit lucky. But I think I would have solved it fairly quickly anyway. As soon as I see work and a long phrase as the answer, I'm thinking it could easily be a musical work or a novel, um, and we're looking for the title. Now, China shared between us. Again, there's more British slang you need to know for this, is that a China can be a friend or a pal. Uh, probably, I think, from China plate, rhyming slang for mate. Anyway, a friend shared between us is somebody we have mutually in common, so our mutual friend. And that's, of course, a novel by Dickens, fits very well with the letters we've got. And in it goes. Um, had a quick look at 28 across where we've got an H in it, but couldn't see what was going on there. 17 down, um, an anagram, we've got the O in the clue, and prowls damaged with him. Well, not just an anagram, but an anagram and literally the answer. So this clue is an and lit, meaning that the whole clue acts both as wordplay and as a definition. So if you damage prows and him together, you get shipworm. And with him in your prow, it might well become damaged, a worm that kind of eats into a ship. Now, 19 down, it's quite an interesting one. Idiot diverted us 100 km across Switzerland. Well, Switzerland's only abbreviation is CH, which is kind of the letters they put on cars. Confederatio Helvetica, something like that. Um, anyway, if we get CH in this and we're diverting something else, we've got us and KM, and 100 is a C, but how could us, C, KM, CH yield a word? There's only one vowel in that. Well, it can, and an idiot can, of course, be a schmuck, which is American or Yiddish slang for a fool. And that is an anagram of us, C, K, M, and C, H. 21 down, I couldn't solve this at first. Powerful drive with spirit, 19 more needed for century. Well, good luck to you if you can get that. 22 down, I struggled with as well. Take off from party chasing old nurse. Maybe tend to for nurse? And 24, paint a stern after spilling a thinner on the ground. That's really cleverly worded and hard to parse. I could do 25 down, just a cryptic definition here. One makes a packet in one's field. Well, don't think about a metaphorical field, think about a physical field. Who does packet making in a field? Somebody who puts the corn together in a bale, or the hay. Um, so baler. Now, 18 across, we've got all the letters. Given further term in high school for dances. Hikes or hoax? I wasn't really sure what this was, but then I had to think about it a bit more. High school can be abbreviated to, H to HS. So what could be given further term in that? Well, AKA, also known as, given another name, given further term. And the dances here are huckers, the... 
um, war dances performed by Maoris and New Zealanders before, uh, and Polynesians before rugby matches. That's a pretty tough word, though. Now, this still was a pick clutching YR for your and RH for right hand. Now, I wasn't sure why a pyrrhic was a foot. I thought maybe it's a poetic foot. And now things started to slow down. Engineering graduate having rung to order. I couldn't work that out. I thought an engineering graduate might be a B ed for some reason. I got, that got stuck in my head, even though now I think about it, that's obviously an education graduate or teacher. Um, I didn't know what the abbreviation for an engineering graduate was, but if you know it's just B E, that makes that clue harder. Now, 27 across, change once from half marathon adopting 2,000 meters. Well, again, we're looking at an abbreviation for thousands. And this time we're looking at a predecessor currency to the Euro, the Finnish marker. Change once implies that it was money, quite small amounts of money in Finland. Half marathon is just mara, and that adopts, or kind of you put into that two lots of a thousand meters which is a k so because you can have a 10k race a thousand meters in that is a k and so you put two of those k's into mara and you get marker that's not easy i would suggest uh, it does lead on to 24 down paint a stern after spilling a thinner on the ground still a hard clue but luckily the letters in the grid r r and r only suggest one word which is rarer and then maybe one can see that that's defined by thinner on the ground, which is beautiful phrasing. The painter is RA. Somebody in the Royal Academy gets those initials to show that they're a fine painter. And then stern after spilling A gives RER because your stern can be your rear. And once that's spilt its A, you get RER. I mean, it's brilliantly put together that clue to give that. And now we're stuck with the bottom right hand corner and this takes me a long time to get through. So you can just watch me going around these clues in order. Um, and the first one I get eventually, oh, I hadn't filled in rarer at this point, so that goes in now. But the first one I get of these two, of these four, which I think is the hardest part of the puzzle, uh, is gonna be 22 down. Take off from party chasing old nurse. Well, old, as we've seen, can be O, and party can be do in the crosswords. But both of those are red herrings this time. Nurse is not the definition either. What you need to know is a couple of bizarre British abbreviations. Old nurse, because a state and registered nurse used to be abbreviated to S-E-N, and the party is another political party. We had Lab earlier. This time it's the DUP from Northern Ireland. And to take off can mean uh, to mock somebody in some way. Or, and another way of saying that is to send up something. So the answer to 22 down is send up with the DUP chasing an SEN. And I mean, that really is a very tough combination in my view and why a modern crossword solver should be expected to know that an SEN was an old version of a nurse, I think is very unfair, frankly. So not a big fan of how that's worked, but that will give us send up eventually at 22 down. Now that helps with 25 across, as does my getting rid of the notion that it had to have bed in it engineering graduate having rung to order. Well, I, oh, actually, I got that first, did I? I eventually realized that the rung could be a rung on a ladder, something like that, or a rung in some other conte context. And a spoke is a kind of straight bar, very like a rung. So the way that works is BA, BE, Bachelor of Engineering, for the engineering graduate, and then having the rung spoke and to order, if you have something made to order, you have it bespoke. Now I'm pausing again. We haven't really looked at 28 down yet, 28 across yet. Fourth rate stuffs bound to appear in US bar. Well, fourth rate, I was thinking D grade, D in some way. Stuff could be ram or cram. Bound to appear in US bar. 
Well, US bar is looking a bit like the definition. Now I've got the P in from send up. I'm thinking some sort of shop or possibly ship. But shop suddenly looks good when I realize that to bound can be to hop. So we're looking for fourth rate stuffs hop. And the only way I can think that might work is D plus RAM plus shop. But I couldn't, I'd never heard the, the word dram shop. And I wasn't convinced at all that it could be a real word. Grog shop, now that would be a bar and it could fit. But I'd more think that was Australian than American. Um, I really wasn't sure what, what was going on in, in 28 across and decided could end in an M, maybe a G, but the best thing to do would be to look at 21 down. Powerful drive with spirit, 19 more needed for century. Well, lust can be a powerful drive and the spirit here is rum. So you get lustrum and I thought that is something to do with years. But I thought it was five years, not 81. So why would you need 19 more for a century? Well, it is a five year period. And if you had 19 more five year periods, you'd have a century. So given all that, I've entered Dram Shop and I'm now going to submit my entry in the hope that it must be right. It's the only way I can make the um, wordplay work. And I didn't know the answer, but we're going to try it and see if it's marked right. And it is. No errors. Everything in green. Dram shop's the right answer. It's a very surprising word to me to appear in this puzzle. So I looked it up in my dictionary and there it is. Dram shop. Um, a bar. That's all it says. A bar. So why the clue said a US bar, I don't know. Dram is formally and still in the US an apothecary's measure of an eighth of an ounce. Do they still have apothecaries in the US? I wouldn't have thought so. But of course, a dram can be a small drink of alcohol, especially whiskey. So I suppose you can buy your drams in a dram shop. But I really never heard that word before and very hard to appear in a puzzle. Um, but the word play got, got us there. That is the beauty of cryptic crosswords. If you can't get it from the definition, you can from the word play. So lustrum, a period of five years. That's all we're looking for here. Originated from a ceremonial purification of the Roman people from Luere to wash or purify. Incredible. But there you go. And I just thought I would also look up Pyrrhic while I was in the dictionary. Um, couldn't see the foot definition at first in Pyrrhic victory. But of course, there is a separate Pyrrhic with a small letter, which is both an ancient Greek war dance, didn't know that, or a foot of two short syllables. I didn't know that. And I don't quite see how you can have a foot of two short syllables. Doesn't quite go with my understanding of prosody. But there we go. So that is this crossword done. Um, it really wasn't an easy one, especially in the bottom half. And I mean, it's quite strange for them to be so distinct between the top half and the bottom half. But this one I, th I thought really got hard down at the bottom. So congrats if you've done the puzzle before and you liked it um, and finished it. I found that pretty hard. Certainly some useful general knowledge in terms of Huckers and Formosa, um, but marker, but some very tough stuff in it. And there we go. That's today's Very Tough Times Cryptic on Cracking the Cryptic. Thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.